Hey there, Jim Johnson for Accent Help here, and I want to talk for a moment about the way that I use the R sound in the materials for Accent Help. We made some choices with this. When I'm actually teaching this to students that I'm working with long term and we're working on it in depth, we have two different primary R sounds that we use. We have this R that represents the regular R that we use at the beginnings of words or before vowels like red, dress, prep. And then we use this R to represent the more vowel-like R for a word like fear, park, door, when it's after a vowel. So this is the one before the vowel, this is the one after the vowel. Now there are other R's as well. There's a retroflex R that can represent sort of a a harder R sound. That may be one way to represent sort of a harder southern R or what oftentimes happens with Irish accents, for example. Or another way you could represent the very same thing is to do that and add a diacritic that says pharyngealized or velarized, saying that you're pulling it back towards the velum, the soft palate, or the pharynx, the throat. This sort of bunching of the tongue to create that harder R that may occur in all positions. Now, this one usually occurs with a vowel in front of it, but it can also appear all on its own, as in a word like urbane. Er, er, er. Now, when you have it in a stressed syllable, purpose, then it usually is written as this turned epsilon with the roticity added to it as well. So you end up with purpose, or you end up with murder, further. So those are some of the R's when it comes to dealing with the IPA. Thanks. For more info, check out AccentHelp.com.